This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A woman's recovering after a shooting in Mount Auburn happened around one Monday morning on East McMillan. She was able to run to Mad Frog for help after she was shot. Police told us she will be okay as her injuries are not life threatening. Police also said they know the identity of the shooter. Today's the deadline to register to vote in Ohio's upcoming primary election. You can register to do so at your County Board of Elections or online at the Secretary of State website. The primary will decide which statewide, county and U.S. congressional candidates will advance to November's general election. The state House and state Senate candidates will not be on this ballot due to the ongoing battle over Ohio's redistricting maps. Crews will close two ramps on I-7175 in Covington. We're talking about the Pike Street entrance ramp to the interstate north and the exit ramp from 7175 north to 5th Street, both closing at 9 p.m. This is part of the $8.8 million Texas turnaround project, hoping to make the Brent Spence Bridge safer. The ramps will stay closed for about six months. And construction also starts today on a major new project to ease traffic congestion on I-275 in Hamilton and Claremont counties. ODOT crews will shift traffic away from the median on 275 East and West between the Deerfield Road underpass and the Loveland Madeira Road interchange as they make room for so-called smart lanes. Jen? Well, today we are starting with some spotty rain, but it's not going to last all day. By the noon hour, we're back to a mostly cloudy, if not overcast sky at 50, topping out in the upper 50s and still rather cloudy out there today. Tonight, we will see a little break in this precipitation, but here's a better look at what's coming through for this morning. Widely scattered showers by 10. We're down to isolated, and there you see by noon, it's kind of coming to a close pretty quickly. Coming up, though, we are breaking down the more likely chances for rain this week and wind. The four-letter S word may be back in the forecast.